Hi, today, I am going to discuss direct methanol fuel cell, let's start with an introduction. The direct methanol fuel cell is a subcategory of the proton exchange fuel cells in which methanol is used as the fuel. It relies upon the oxidation of methanol on a catalyst layer to form carbon dioxide. Water is consumed at the anode and is produced at the cathode. Methanol and water are adsorbed on a catalyst usually made of platinum and ruthenium particles, and lose protons until carbon dioxide is formed. It consists of two electrodes separated by a proton exchange membrane and connected via an external circuit that allows the conversion of free energy from the chemical reaction of methanol with air and oxygen to be directly converted into electrical energy. Principle When providing current, methanol is electrochemically oxidized at the anode electrocatalyst to produce electrons that travel through the external circuit to the cathode electrocatalyst where they are consumed together with oxygen in a reduction reaction. The circuit is maintained within the cell by the conduction of protons in the electrolyte. As we all know that at anode there is oxidation takes place and at the cathode there is reduction takes place. The conducting ions in this cell are hydrogen ions, simply we can say H plus ions. The advantages of the direct methanol fuel cell are. There is no need for a complicated storage mechanism unlike the hydrogen based one. It does not require a balance of plants as the liquid fuel can provide both humidification and cooling. It can produce a small amount of power over a large period of time. They have no noise and thermal signatures and no toxic effluent, etc. The disadvantages of the direct methanol fuel cell are Fuel can cross electrolytes without reacting reducing efficiency. These cells have low power density. Methanol can corrode various parts of the fuel cells. Methanol is toxic inflammable, etc. The uses of direct methanol fuel cell are they are used in battery chargers and autonomous power for test and training instrumentation. They are used in mobile phones, digital cameras, laptops, etc. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for more videos. Bye bye. See you.